Link Start. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. It's Link Start. But I thought we're going to ever do that again because we're already logged into the game, right? And you only say that when you put the nerve gear on to actually get into the game. Fascinating world. It's a game of swords. There's no magic. It's just sword arts. But then the guy is like, hey, everybody. I'm a sociopath. This is a fun experiment. You die if you die in the game. Don't die, guys. Bye-bye now. Beat 100 floors. And so it's like, okay. But it's interesting how Kirito was a beta player, yet he didn't clear the first floor in the span of one month. Even though within eight days of be playing beta, he cleared up to like what? No, within like two months, he cleared up to eight floors, I believe. But then it's like, wait, wait, wait. This is no longer, like, there's actual consequences, right? Like. If you die, you die in real life. So people can't just like grind and just kind of rush it, right? Everyone's going to be super cautious. So maybe we're going to go in after we're ready perfectly, right? Let's begin today's reaction. One month, but no one cleared it, right? 2,000 people already died out of 10,000. Everyone's being a beta, dude. Well, because you die if you die here. Who wouldn't be scared? A meeting? We're having a meeting to beat the first floor boss? Okay. Beater. Wait, not a beta? Beater? Okay. Diablo. Bro's role playing. Bro's role playing. <laughs> There's no jobs. And he's like, I'm a knight. <laughs> I'm a tank. There's no tank. Everyone is just a swordsman, you know? Everyone's just like a fucking sword user. Oh. Serious moment. Nani? Remember, 100 floors. 100 floors. Alright. No, you know what your duty is? Your duty is to get in there and die so that everyone will be paralyzed and won't even want to move forward. I guarantee you these dudes are going to die in this episode, right? I don't think they're going to survive. Unless Kirito somehow pops off because he's like a beta player because he should have the knowledge of these bosses at least until 8th floor, right? <laughs> wow! <laughs> they did. Alright. Parties of six. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is awkward. You ever, you know, in school, you know? The, the teacher says, all right, guys, group up. Groups of four or three. And yeah, everyone's, like, getting into their own groups. And it's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. And it's like, and, like, you have friends, but it's, like, kind of awkward because they might be closer to two other people. So they might have already locked in. And you kind of make eye contact. And they're kind of like, ah, oh, shit, my bad, man. Oh, 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 oh. What I would do in those situations is like, I would just like seek out other outcasts or loners and I would just like party up with them and just say, fuck my friends. I would like intentionally put myself in a situation to avoid that. And I'd be like, all right, you random kids, let's fucking go. I, I don't got time to fucking, you know, argue with friends and try to figure out, oh, are you groups or not? <laughs> Kirito, you're getting left behind, man. At least hide her hair color. Gee, I wonder who this is. <laughs> this is the main girl, right? This has got to be the wife, right? We saw her last episode, kind of, in the opening. She's got orange hair. I see fucking orange hair here. Oh, mysterious hooded character wearing leggings. Yeah, okay, we're in. I thought she might reject us. She's not a Sundere, okay. Asuna, her HP bar is pretty low. Asuna, what about it? You recognize that name? Why do you look at the name for so long? Did he play with her in the beta? Who is this idiot? Wow, bro thinks he's the main character. This guy 200% thinks he's the main character of this show. What is his haircut? Like, how do you possibly have this hairstyle? He looks like a shaved head. He just got like a fucking front and he like spiked it. His head looks like a fucking spike. Bro, look at this shit. This is the most cringe shit. Look at this main character entrance. <laughs> he should have fucking tripped. I can't believe he stuck the landing. I'm upset he stuck the landing. Alright, what's up? Apologize? 
Yeah, they're already dead, by the way. Who the fuck am I apologizing to? <laughs> you want me to apologize to the 2,000 idiots that already died? Yeah. Why? Bald! Bald! I saw Baldy yeah. there. X beta testers. Are we all beta testers? Uh, okay. Where did all the beta testers go? Yeah? Makes sense. Yeah, that's how life works. Survival of the fittest. You either have the knowledge or you don't. Who are you fucking complaining to? You want to fucking cry? Cry all you want. The beta testers are going to farm while you fucking cry. Oh, those damn beta testers. Nah, I don't like this mindset, dude. What a self-entitled fucking prick. How is that their fault that they hid the knowledge? Because this is all at the end of the day, survival of the fittest. You die in the game, you die in real life. I'm not going to fuck around. If I had that private information, if I knew all the great hunting spots and I knew that the resources were limited, I'm keeping that shit to myself and my friends because that's what's most important to me. Am I an asshole? Yeah, probably. But that's how the world fucking works. Bro, you want fucking hammy odds? You want the world to fucking bend around your own fucking needs? What a pussy. If he was truly smart, he would have figured out who the beta tester was and try to get in on their party and try to grind like that. <laughs> Party member to stay. Cringe. Cringe. <laughs> Kirito actually feels guilty, huh? <laughs> if I was Kirito right here, I'd be like, shut your dumb ass up. Honestly, I would have tried to fucking kill him. Just PK right here. <laughs> huh? Baldi? Baldi talking? Oh, Egil. Yo, this guy's huge. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Bullshit arguments. Destroy him with facts and logic. Guidebook? We all got a manual? So you all have the knowledge that beta testers would already have. Oh! Pro gaslit the ex beta testers. Who actually try to help the masses? They actually made a guidebook that was available for an entire month. He didn't even know. So not only is he a fucking shitty person, he's stupid on top of that. Idiot. Idiot. Yeah, bro, 100% skipped the tutorial, dude. He did not read the manual. Yo, Baldi's Giga Chad. <laughs> Throw a tantrum, little bitch. Alright, what's in the guidebook? Cobalt. Oh, he's got an entourage of sentinels. Four health bars. Second phase. Ah, he got like a different pattern too. Gotcha. What if he lied there? Who, is he the only one with the latest book? I, I, it's probably not worth like cooking, but like, could you imagine if he intentionally lied? And this guy's like gathering people to lead them to their death. Why would he want other people dying? I don't know. Maybe to use them as fucking lab rats so that he could actually get the actual details. <laughs> Imagine he lied about all of that. Oh! He's role playing so hard, Mr. Knight. <laughs> he actually apologized there. Asuna! Bye! Okay, Jesus, so cold. No! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. What's that look? Hmm? See, if he didn't make this look, I would have backed off on the cooking, but maybe I wasn't, you know, maybe I wasn't burning the kitchen down. What the fuck is this look, huh? Why? What are you doing that? What are you looking at? Is that a Kirito? What's going on? Maybe, um, nah, maybe this is a misdirection. I just have a narrative that I'm working backwards to fit, right? Because I want my guess to be correct, but maybe just looking at Kirito in, in the back, right? Because he's probably a beta tester, right? Nah, I'm, I'm probably not. What the fuck? How did this idiot just become brother in arms? And we're fucking drinking together. I don't like this. He, he actually already had a redemption. He apologized and now he's fucking toasting with the fucking Mr. Knight. I wanted some character to shit on, man. That's not eating stale old bread. Yo, show us your face. Are they? The bread looks so stale and old. <laughs> she moved away so quick. Ouch. Okay. 
But what about their actual bodies outside? How are they sustaining themselves? What is this, jam? Is this the jam riz? The fuck? What, the jam is... And then the sauce came out of nowhere. I mean, it's a fucking video game. Why am I asking? It doesn't mean it's whatever. It's just a fucking jam riz. Cream. Yeah, a cream riz. Yeah, give her the cream. Mm. Yeah, you want to taste my cream? Bite it. I bet it's good. Yeah. Mm. Get in there. Give a little lick. Oh, you like that? You like my cream? Say umai. Give me an oishi. Oh, you like that? That's right. It's a clear the first floor boss, right? To beat the game. What? Some philosophical statements? As long as she's true to herself. Okay! She's got a very righteous mindset. Kirito, did you listen to any of that? I mean, he was pretty hesitant on, like, recruiting other friends and teammates, too, before, but... We'll see what that's about later. Yo, I hope Baldi survives. I like Baldi. Whoa. So that's the first floor? I thought we were going to go to the hundredth floor. Alright, don't die, guys. Here we go. This is giving me solo leveling flashbacks, man. I know this anime came out way before solo leveling, but we're watching in a different order. Maybe we should get the fuck out. Uh-oh. Here we go. That's a thick ass boy. There's the entourage of sentinels. Do we have a strategy? Okay. Yo, what the fuck are those sentinels holding? What are those weapons? It looks like a fucking ear picker. You know, Mr. Knight's leadership is pretty on point. See? The way he's able to organize? Alright, go Kirito. Ooh, the soundtrack though! I mean the soundtrack from last episode too was insane. Oi, oi. Okay, the sentinels are down. One HP left, second phase! Different boss pattern! Okay, so far the information was correct. Wait, what? Why is he going in front now? Okay, I see this motherfucker. His entire plan was to wait for this. He gave some fucking wrong shit at the end, huh? He wants to fucking kill steal it. He realizes. He's like, oh, he told the wrong information about some second phase. Maybe the boss is just staggered right now, huh? Maybe the last bar right now, there is no second phase and the bro boss is just staggered or some shit. He's about to go and kill it, steal all the loot. Because again, the loot or something. No, the loot is distributed evenly or some shit, but the EXP goes to the party that killed the boss. This fucking piece of shit. He's even giving us a look. Look at him just like winking at us. He's like, you're a beta tester too, right? This motherfucker, dude. This, dude. I don't blame him. I would do the same thing, man. <laughs> what if he dies, though? What if he dies, though, actually? Wait. Wait, wait. What if he dies? We're trying to steal a loot now. It's different from the beta test? What? So everything in this... Oh, okay. So our, like, prior knowledge, it's not that helpful. Oh, okay. Yo, karma. Karma. You get what you fucking deserve. I shouldn't be laughing so hard. He's going to die. Yo, our entire party might get wiped. Yeah, though, you good? He's about to die. No, don't give me a potion. Nah. Uh-oh. Re Beta Tester 2, aren't you? Is that your last words? The fuck? Such a sad moment all of a sudden. Yeah, he was trying to cheat everybody. I don't blame him. Please defeat the boss. Oh, this is so dramatic. Oh my god. This shit is so dramatic all of a sudden. Dude, I think it's a soundtrack. 
I think it's a soundtrack. It's so good. Please, my dying wishes. For everyone. What do you mean for everyone? I don't know half the people in this fucking room. The only person I care about in this room is Asuna and the Baldi. What do I give a fuck about everyone? Like it's a fucking family, dude. Please save everybody. We've only known each other for fucking 14 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Especially not that motherfucker. Spike head dude, he can die. I can't believe he rejected the potion. That's so dumb. You actually drink it in potion? Like, why? What's the thought process? Bye, Kyle. I hope Kyle's alive. Wow, well, he didn't abandon. Yeah, yeah. He tried to get a quick one at the end, but he did lead them. Kirito, can you lead them? Oh, we have Asuna too. Oh my god. Yo. What is the soundtrack? What is the soundtrack? <laughs> I think half the hype of this show is that the soundtrack, dude. What the? Nani? Oh, finally we get to see her face, dude. Focus, focus. <laughs> He's probably thinking, "Wow, she's so hot." Wow, she's so hot. <laughs> Yo, what's the rest of our fucking Eda squad doing? There's 30 motherfuckers in here. Stop watching. Do something. This soundtrack is so good. Oh. Oh. I got baited. The soundtrack was so good. It was swelling up, but then it did the thing where the soundtrack just stops playing. It was so good. And then pause the soundtrack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, uh, shit. Asuna, carry us. Damn. Bro, that was like fucking 60%, 70% HP in one hit. Baldi! Baldi! Giga Chad. Giga Chad. That might be the best moment, dude, of this episode. Straight up? I don't care about Kirito or Asuna being all cool, dude. I care more about the side characters. Giga Chad Baldi. What was his name? I gotta stop calling him Baldi, dude. What's his name? Aegis? Aegil? Or some shit? I gotta remember his name, bro. Aegil or something? All right, I will remember his name. He deserves it. He's the true leader. He's so cool. Uh-oh. Are you gonna wait to recover, bro? Kirito oh! saves everybody! Coffee soda! Coffee soda soundtrack! Yeah! This is so good! The soundtrack! <laughs> The EXP. Damn! That's just the first floor boss, by the way. Holy shit, that was epic. I think yeah. it was just the soundtrack. Yeah. We nah, they tried. They they actually all tried. They all put in the effort in. Shit, we did it though. We actually beat the first floor. This is huge. No one's ever done this before, right? You got the last attacking bonus. What is it? Coat of Midnight. Sounds OP. You are cool too, bro. Yo, Baldi, join our team. Mr. Aegis, join our team. Wow, look at that. Everybody's like, you know, cheering him on. But his like reaction to it is... What, what, what? What now? I fucking hate this guy so much. Dude, we gave him the fucking potion! He didn't drink it! He's gonna gaslight us now? He's straight up gonna gaslight us now? And like say that it's our fault? What do you mean? I gave him the potion! No! Diabel fucking lied to you guys and he was going for the kill steal and you don't even realize that. 
and then he got sent back and he paid for his own prices and we try to save him but you're so stupid you don't even know what's going on yeah you're so confident again yamauchi types people who are super confident and are stupid like super stupid the worst combination of characteristics in a person it's the most dangerous combination no one knew the pattern changed this is so stupid Fuck every one of these guys. You know what? We should have let him die, dude. I just wanted to say Bali and Asuna. We should have let them all die so that we could have gotten more loot. These guys are fucking useless. Actual monkeys. Bruh. So... Asuna probably is a beta tester? Based on her movement before, right? And Baldi, Mr. I don't know, what was that look? He was looking around. Was that a look of guilt or was he looking out for other beta tests? I'm I think Asuna is a beta tester though, right? She had moves that was like crazy. And it's like, huh. Then again, she didn't know switch, but I don't know. Wait, the mood is pretty bad here. Is everyone gonna turn on each other? Fuck everyone. Fuck everyone, dude. They suck. Take the loot and leave. Uh-oh. What's Kitty took on there? Uh-oh. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Bro? Sid Kagano decided to play the evil route this time. And he's gonna roleplay. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna be the villain. He's gonna be the villain? Alright, sure, let's go. <laughs> to those newbies! <laughs> I'm a X beta tester plus. Yeah. And I'm the elite of the elite. <laughs> Beta tester plus plus. Interesting method. Eighth floor, baby. Two months, eighth floor. He's just revealing it all. Like what? The color of Asuna's panties? What's he gonna do about a bitch? Oh no! It's so bad that someone here actually knows more knowledge of this game and the future content that will determine if we will live or die. Gee, what should I do here? Should I antagonize him? And should I just like throw him away? Or should I fucking get on my knees and grovel and beg for the knowledge? What is he thinking? Like, it is beyond insane how stupid these characters are. Diabel not taking the potion was dumb as fuck, but maybe that was necessary to make some kind of epic moment. I don't fucking know. That felt very stupid and forced. This character is beyond stupid. I can't even reason. Like, I'm trying to play defense right now, okay? I'm literally trying to play defense for these characters, but I can't. I don't know what possible reason that he would want to antagonize someone that has knowledge that you need to survive. Bro, get over yourself. <laughs> don't you not want to cheat with us? Don't you want to live? Maybe we should cheat beyond the eighth floor, dumbasses. <laughs> We don't want your knowledge. We're gonna die in the next episode instead. Oh my god, dude. These idiots. These idiots. Beta. A beta. Yeah, we're a beater, dude. What are we beating? Beta. beta. Uh, coat of Midnight. Oh. Beta. Look at that coat. <laughs> Sarabada. You should have done that cool cape turn, you know? <laughs> Asuna leaves with us. Good. Wait. What? Don't tell me you're siding with them. Yeah, it was in the game UI. What, is it Asuna? Asuna? Yeah, it's in the fucking party UI. Kirito. 
She's not a beta tester at all then, because she doesn't even need know this. Well, unless she never partied up. What? Is this supposed to be like a little wholesome moment to like break the ice of the suspense and Asuna be like, Oh, T! You can see your name there after all! Oh, my bad! What? Okay. A guild? Okay, guild system exists here. Limit as a solo player. Will he just be a solo player? Dissolve party. Disband party, sorry. Bye bye. I'm a beater. Goodbye. I don't need women. I'm a beater. I'm gonna go beat my meat now. And that is episode two. How ridiculous was this episode? Um, I think that couple things didn't make sense, but it was fucking entertaining. God, God damn. Like, I. Whenever there's like shitty moments and shitty as in like a dumb character like this showing up and just causing scenes like there's a lot of good potential for me to like start popping off and roasting them so like this is actually really fun i enjoy this character i hope he survives for a long time but knowing this show where people just die all of all, all like everywhere i'm not gonna hook up my hopes up too much so basically this was a story of getting to know asana giving her our cream that she fucking devoured then beating the first floor but the whole point was that Everybody, like, has a prejudice against beta testers because it's like, oh, how dare you be a beta tester? You have all the knowledge you're keeping us from our plebs. It's like, shut the fuck up, dumb bitch. Get fucking good literal skill issue. Turns out we actually made a guidebook for these idiots. And even then, he didn't even know the guidebook was out. Now, Mr. Diable or whatever, fucking, he didn't have to die. He tried to pull a quick one, right? He tried to pull a quick one and try to go in when, you know, the last pattern the boss is going. But it turns out the game is different from what we kind of know, right? So if the handbook was made by beta testers, and since no one has cleared this dungeon yet, right? No one has cleared it yet until we did today. We don't have any knowledge to go off of unless it's like Kirito's knowledge, right? I mean, Kirito is the one that got the furthest, apparently. So we, I honestly, eight floors worth of like content that's not enough. There's fucking 100, right? We literally have 8% of knowledge. And even then, the knowledge is not even that good because it can change, right? So, again, it's not good to be reliant on our previous knowledge. But it's going to be useful. He rejecting potion. How could you ever, like, justify this? What? Suddenly, he's a good guy all of a sudden. He's like, no, you're a beta tester, right? Please save everyone that you barely knew for 14 minutes, even though they're going to fucking backstab you and betray you because they're fucking dumb. Please save them. Nah, bro. We're going to keep that potion. We're going to get the fucking midnight cloak and we're going to walk away after calling them that they're fucking losers. You know why? Because we are a beater. That's right. Cheater and beta. I don't know if you can say guilt is the reason why um, he decided to die. I don't think no amount of guilt would compel you. When you're about to die, your true feelings, your true nature shows up, right? Everyone will try to fucking survive no matter what. All the nasty hidden parts of human nature just trying to struggle to survive, it all shows up. I'm surprised he didn't fucking take the potion and steal it and try to drink it for himself, bro. But it is what it is. Led to a pretty entertaining moment. The fight scene? was pretty legit, dude. The soundtrack playing, I think, is doing all the work, though. Yes, the fight choreography looks amazing, but it's the soundtrack. The soundtrack is godlike, dude, and it's going fucking hard. And at the end, again, we are labeled a beater, a cheater that is a beta tester. And instead of begging for the knowledge from a beater, they decide to antagonize them. These idiots would rather be petty little fucks being like, oh, you're hiding stuff from us. You're a fucking beater. Good luck. You're going to fucking die next episode. I hope every single one of people in here die except for Asuna, Kirito, and Baldi, dude. They fucking suck. But I'm sure we're going to get more characters like in the future. A little bit of like a ship farming here. I mean, the opening pretty much shows them playing fucking housewife and house husband. So it is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.